Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today we're going to take a look at the new 12 V8 PWR connectors, adapters from Cable Mod. So obviously at launch with the new cards and the newish new connector, there was a lot of uh, problems and hype around the bend and things not being connected properly and it killing cards through which now people will try and say is user error. Now Cable Mod for quite a while have been working on these adapters and there are technically four different types. So you have, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about. In reality, now there are many different colors. You can get blue and green ones as well. Um, I'm not sure what other colors because I forgot to look before I did the video, but I have the black, the red, and the white versions here in both the A and the B and then the 90 and the 180. So there are a few different types that we need to go through and that is why I thought I'd make a video not only about which one's which and what one you might need at home but also living with it. So maybe taking the connectors off and how to get them off your card because sometimes the little spring connectors to be able to remove them are hidden underneath and it can be a little bit difficult. So I've come up with a couple of ways to try and help you at home. Now the biggest difference straight away is where the earth pins are. Now you get the little connector and you have the 12 pins that you have normally here, but there are four little pins underneath and they are the earth or the, um, they can talk to the graphics card, but they are basically just earths. And because of the difference between the way that manufacturers build their cards, some of the manufacturers have those four pins at the bottom of the connector if it's fitted in a normal position, and some have them fitted at the top. So the Founders Edition, for example, as you can see, has got those four little pins, the plus fours, we call it 12 plus four. So those plus four pins are located at the top of the connector. But on the Asus Strix, as you can see, they've got theirs flipped the other way around because technically you could say that the um, it's easier to remove this way around, but their connectors are, or their pins, are at the bottom. Now the Asus ones are the Type A. So the ones with the earthing pins, those extra four smaller pins at the bottom, that is Type A. And the ones with the earthing pins at the top, that is Type B. So you just need to look at your graphics card in the way that it would be if it was fitted normally, see whether they're at the top or at the bottom, and then that is all really easy. You know whether you need a type A or a type B. Lovely. The next thing you need to know is whether you need a 90 or a 180 degrees. And it's actually fairly simple with this one. So with a 90, it's just going to mean that your uh, cable goes straight down the uh, side of the card in a normal, orient the normal orientated fitment. So they've just come down and it's basically to stop the curve near the side panel and that is the, when you need the 90 degree adapter. If you're going to go for a vertical um, mount and you want the cable to go around the back of the card, then you need the 180 degree adapter. We don't have to, but it just means that you can hide the cable around the back of the card and it's very, very simple and nice and easy to do. Now other things is when you have the uh, type B fitted into the side of the card, what it technically does mean is the little uh, releasing tab underneath the connector is technically um, covered by the rest of the adapter and it can be a bit difficult to remove because you do need to make sure that you release that pin or the tab, whatever you would like to call it, underneath. And the easiest way that I found to do it was to slide a thin screwdriver in the other side, lift up a little bit, and then just pull directly out at 90 degrees. Now the thing that I can't stress enough is don't move and wiggle them too much or start to bend them because you might actually break the connector on the card. So you just push the screwdriver in, lift it up, and then at 90 degrees, pull the connector out. 
and that will save the little tab underneath from being broken or any possible damage that you could do to the uh, card connector itself. The other one, in reality, is uh, with the Type A 180 degree cables when they go around the other side, getting the cable off can be a bit difficult. So um, uh, getting the connector off with the cable fitted can be a bit difficult. So what I've suggested to do is maybe remove the card as a whole, then release the uh, actual cable that you want to take off first, rather than doing it as one piece, you take one piece off first, and then you can get access to the tab on the other side to push that and then release the connector. So with the 180 verticals in type A, I'm just saying take the cable off first, then the adapter off after. Because even I found it difficult to be able to get in there with my finger to release it. The screwdrivers didn't really work. And it, again, it's just going to mean that you can release these things without bending things too much. I did notice that with the 180 degree cables, the amount of stress that you could put on the connector itself because of all the extra leverage could be quite vast, which was why I thought it was worth me uh, trying to give you some helping tips. If you're not sure when you're doing this at home, just go gentle, take your time, don't uh, bend too much and don't force because at the end of the day they, only are, they are only plastic clips on your card and on the connector and you don't know which one might break if you force it too much. So hopefully with those little tidbits that I've given you, you won't have any problems. I've had every single one of these on and off multiple times to uh, check and double check just to make sure with longevity. And just to give you an idea as well, we are actually going to be using these in the test rigs. And if you consider that recently I've tested uh, 14 graphics cards, very, very quick time, but also because we're benching constantly, the amount of power that we're pulling through them as well, we are going to give these connectors an incredibly hard life. So uh, it's something that I can update on as well. I love the fact that they've sent me these colours though, because obviously they are the brand colours. And they've sent me all the different types, so it doesn't matter whether I'm vertical, normal, up, or what graphics card I'm running, I'm covered for all the bases. But obviously it does mean that I can uh, hopefully give you guys at home some advice as well. <sighs> Not a very long video, but an awful lot of information in a very short period of time. So uh, if you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and comment. If it's helped you, then please like, subscribe and comment. But also maybe, you know, show your friends when they're having difficulties as well. Um, I would also love if you would tag me in your photos and stuff on uh, Twitter or Instagram, just so that I can see them being used, especially if you've liked the video because it's helped. But anyway, oh. I need a drink. Lots of uh, talking very fast there to try and get the stuff out. But another cracking uh, product from Cable Mod, and I'm really looking forward to getting these into the test rigs that you'll be seeing in the not too distant future. But for now at least, this has been the tiniest one with another video for you. Out. Ding! Love you, sis.